Do you have trouble painting trees in oil? I'm gonna show you the simplest and easiest way if you're a beginner or novice, or even just starting out with your very, very first painting in oils. Coming at you right now. Hey guys, Wild coming at you from my creative control playlist where I bring you the best tips, tricks, and even painting tutorials just like this. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell below so you know when my videos go live. One of the biggest questions I get asked all the time and even more a request I get all the time is please show me how to do trees. And to be honest, I think trees are one of the hardest things to do. But I'm going to show you some simple tips and tricks to make them way, way better. Now this tutorial is just for beginners and novice. I'm gonna do a series of these because I'm just gonna do very, very basic shapes and how to's for this one. I figure I'll probably do a very beginning level one and maybe level two and then level three, but I'll do two and three at a later point. But I wanna show you guys how simple you can improve your trees rather than just doing a basic triangle shape or zigzag motion. So let's go over to our canvas and let's get started. When learning to do trees, I think it's actually easier to do them on a black canvas when starting out for beginners, that is. And to achieve a black canvas, we have to coat this canvas in black gesso. If you're not sure how to do that, I'll put a link in the top uh, right hand corner. But basically grab whatever black gesso you have. I have a Liquitex one, I have a Bob Ross one. You can even use basic black acrylic from any art store and coat your entire canvas. So make sure you do that and we're gonna do that right now. When your canvas is thoroughly coated in gesso and make sure it dries, usually it takes anywhere from a couple of minutes to about 10, 15, but make sure it's completely dry. We're gonna go and throw a nice basic background in here. And this is just to make our trees pop out for when we actually put them on. So I'm gonna cover my center with cadmium yellow and blend it out with a two inch brush. And then I'm gonna put a lizard and crimson on top of that and below it and then blend it out with a two inch brush. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of phthalo blue on top and on the bottom of the alizarin crimson and just blend that out with a two inch brush. So let's go ahead and do that right now. It may be hard to see, but I do have all of my background colors in here. I've got my yellow, my red, and my blues. To pull those color forward, I'm just gonna take a two inch brush with a little bit of titanium white on there. And we're gonna just blend that in and work our way out from our center to our outside all the way around in a nice spiral motion. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Now that we have an easy and beautiful background put in just seconds, now our trees can start to pull forward on this kind of little hazy nighttime scene here. And all we're gonna use today is we're just gonna use a basic black. Now, if we're gonna use the Bob Ross paint, that black is a little creamier than this paint. To make this slightly thin down, all we're gonna just use is just a couple of drops, and I do mean a couple of drops of linseed oil. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna break down the paint a little bit to make it a little more pliable. A lot of paints come out kind of firm and thick and are hard to apply right away. And to solve that problem, all we need to do is get our linseed oil and just mix it with this just a little bit. So I'm gonna do that really quick for you. When you've got your paint to a nice consistency here, make sure you load up your fan brush with a lot of paint. And I do mean a lot of paint. It should come all the way up the bristles and it should be fully loaded at all the corners. Now, a lot of you probably get a paintbrush that looks something a little more like this. This is a number six fan brush, and it's a great fan brush, but for beginners, I find it way, way, way too hard to start off doing trees. It works fine when you've mastered it, but what is very difficult for most beginning painters is control. So when you have this smaller fan brush here, you can actually have a little more control over your trees and build out from there. This is kind of a big boy, and we'll cover this at another episode at a later time. So I recommend picking up one of these. If you haven't, I'll put a link in the description below so that way you guys can see where you can buy it on Amazon or at a craft store there for the best price. But use this fan brush. When you start off doing your trees, you have to designate where they're gonna be. And the easiest way to do that is by designating a trunk line. To do that, just use the chisel edge of your fan brush here and kind of just start tapping in and down. So you get a generalized idea of where your trunk's gonna be. Now I've already used a little bit of my paint and I know it doesn't seem like much, but it's easier to just go ahead and reload your paintbrush by wiping it through the paint and pushing all that paint and wiggling it through to the end of the paintbrush. Do that really quick. With our paintbrush all reloaded up, we've got a nice chiseled edge and we're just gonna paint with the corners of our fan brush here. So come straight at it and turn the handle dramatically to the right and tilt it down a little bit, or you can do it to the left if you're left-handed. It's the same technique, don't worry about it. And we're just gonna start tapping in. Now, a lot of times you'll, still, you'll see people do a Z motion. 
which is generally the idea of what you want, but it's more of like you come down into a Z and then come back to the center and then come down and then come back to the center and come down and then come back to the center and come down. That's actually an easier way to do it. Hard to master, but try working on that rather than zigzagging down. When you zigzag down, you don't get a lot of bushes and branches that kind of bend in the correct, the correct way. So we're gonna come up here and all we're gonna do is just tap our first little br branch in and there it is. We're gonna come over to the left and tap down and tap, 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 tap. And just keep working it out. And as you come down, you just push a little harder and you slowly start working your way down and out. And this is a little bit of a distant tree, so don't worry about too much of the shape and form here. And just keep pressing, and as you press down, you start creating all these thousands of limbs and branches and leaves that are just sitting back there. And if you start to lose consistency or paint in your brush, just go ahead and flip it over and use the other side and just move up a little bit and do the same thing. And just push down and push a little bit harder to get a few more leaves to come out of there. And you can go wider and wider. And there you've got a basic tree. And don't be afraid to come back up here and finish some things if you need to or shape some branches. It's that simple. And there you've got to start to a very basic, easy tree. You can come at it and attack it right down in center and go straight up from the first uh, one third and just give it a nice little point right there. So that way people know it's got a nice little tree that's growing up straight. And that's it. That's the simplest form of doing it. You can do a zigzag motion if you'd like to, but I prefer going down and out and then down and out and then down and out. And that gets you a little more shape, but each tree needs a little friend here. So I'm gonna flip the camera over and I'm gonna show you from my actual side of how it actually is being applied. So one moment and we're gonna flip the camera. So let me show you what I did with my paintbrush as it's actually coming off the paintbrush onto the canvas so you get a better idea of how I'm applying paint. I use the same technique. I lay down a trunk line so that way I know where my branches can stem out from and I go in the down and out motion and apply my color. If I run out of any color, I just flip the brush over and start continuing to paint with the other corner. Don't be afraid to clean up your branches as you come across your tree as well. Now that you have a basic understanding of the trees, you can apply it to a bunch of trees over and over. And I recommend practicing a few different trees, which I'll show you right here. Just remember, not all trees have to be the same symmetrical shape. There are trees that hang more to the left, more to the right. Some don't grow up that high. Some are bent over. Some have branches that are full. Some have branches that are thin and some are just barren. So make sure you keep that in mind as you're doing a bunch of different trees because that's what adds a lot of character and depth into your painting. And when you have more time, go as fast or as slow or as detailed as you want. So now that I have a little more time and I'm closer to the canvas, I can actually just take my time and go right through it. So I'm just gonna tap in right there and tap down and... And it's as simple as that. You can, that way you can have some basic, easy, fun trees. And this is just the very, very basics of doing trees. Now that you have an awesome grasp on how to make the shape of trees, I'm gonna show you how to put highlights on trees. So I'm gonna pull this little tree forward and add a little thicker base so I can show you how to apply some simple highlights on here to make the tree stand out even more. If you have it, I recommend using liquid white or magic white to apply highlights on top of your canvas. But if you don't have that, you can use uh, titanium white with just a few drops of linseed oil make sure it's a little bit thinner than what we put on here so that way our thin paint will stick to our thicker paint so that's the golden rule always remember that with our fan brush all loaded here with a nice liquid white or magic white or any thin down white that you have we're just going to come in here and concentrate so this tree that i added a little more branch to and this tree here the only ones i'm going to concentrate on at the moment but it's the same process all you do is come straight at it turn it and tilt it down. And you only wanna do every so other branch and take into consideration where your light sources are coming from because that's where your highlight should be. But for the sake of this tutorial, it's more about just applying it on there and getting the idea. Now, if you notice, I didn't go over trunks at all. For beginners, I'm not gonna do trunks in my next uh, video that I'll do for a tutorial on trees. I'll show you how to cover up trunks and put in trunks. But for basics right now, we're just gonna assume that these are silhouetted from behind. 
So we're gonna come straight at it, turn it, and dip your hand a little bit and just start tapping in ever so slightly. And I recommend going very slow for highlights. Now with whatever parts you don't like or some spots that may have some blobs on them, like here, I didn't really get a good application. I always like to go back with a nice clean fan brush here. Make sure you wipe off all the excess color from the fan. That way you've got it nice and clean here. And dab just right at the bottom here and fade it down into that black, just so ever so slightly. And what this does is this cleans up a lot of the edge and it looks like some of these highlights are actually crashing and striking through some of these branches and thousands of leaves here and feel free to tap out your and feel free to uh, tap out that extra color here on a loose paper towel because at some times it will get muddy but it's okay if it actually dissipates into a little bit of a gray color here because that would naturally happen in in life these colors would mix and blend To give you a better idea of how I tap out the highlights and make it look like it's fading down into the leaves and the branches, I went ahead and flipped the camera over here for you so you can see how a light and delicate touch it is and all I'm using is the corner of my paintbrush. Well I hope this all gets you very excited out there to attempt trees. They're not as hard as they look but I still think they're one of the hardest things to do. So the biggest tip I can give you is go slow and work at your own pace that works best for you. And always remember that a thin paint will always stick to a thin paint for your highlights. Now just for fun, I'm gonna put in a giant big tree with that giant fan brush here and take a little more time so you can show the general shape and just review what we've done. So always remember to throw in your trunk line and start working out from the top down and work in kind of a down and out motion and you can throw in a few zigzags to fill in the body and always remember you don't always have to fill in your tree you can leave gaps if you want if you run out of paint don't be afraid to reload your paintbrush or better yet you can flip over your paintbrush and start using the other corner as you get down towards the middle and even further beyond in the tree feel free to push a little bit harder that's what pushes out all those branches and leaves there and when you want to apply highlights Make sure you take your time and work on every other branch. Don't feel like you have to cover the entire tree in highlights or snow. Wow, that was a bigger tutorial than I thought it was going to be, guys. But just a reminder, that's just a novice slash beginner one for you guys out there trying to start your wet on wet painting technique and wanting to enhance your trees. Trees, I think, are very hard. Just go very slow and try it. I'll do a level two and a level three so that way you can see how highlights apply better, getting better shape, fuller branches, different style of trees, birch, different barks, trunks, things like that. But a lot of you have been asking for requests for me to do it and I've been putting it off because I've been so busy. But this is just level one. We'll do level two and level three at another point. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a nice thumbs up and help me grow by leaving a comment below. Let me know in any way that I can help you grow or show you another tutorial or anything that you need to figure out how to do in painting and beyond. So thank you guys for watching. Once again, my name is Wild. Feel free to Follow me, follow me on my social media, on Instagram and Twitter, and I will see you guys on the next painting tutorial. Next time, take care and happy painting. Peace.